Hey, I'm scratching like a like a dog. Hi, how are you? It's freezing cold here in New York, and I just got a, a delivery from the UPS man. And I'm hoping that me drinking this delicious hot coffee is not going to alter my impression of these first scents of waxes that I'm going to be showing you. Came in a plastic bag. I've got a couple of bundles, same bundles in that big old box over there. This wax collection from Scentsy is called the Hugue Collection. Now, I had to look it up and they did talk about what this meant at uh, Scentsy Family Reunion in July. But it was very chaotic there. <laughs> and um, they fashioned their entire catalog this season around the idea of comfort and coziness. And Hugue in the Danish slash Netherlands region of the world, Hugue means the idea and the mood of comfy cozy. And that is a very soft spot, soft spot, soft spot, spot in my heart because if you look at my Facebook profile, you'll see that my goal, my, um, my life mission is to make people feel comfortable. Whether that's with massage therapy, with helping them with, you know, better eating choices, with scenting their home so that they have other senses that are nicely balanced, whatever. Comfort is a very big deal to me. And for a lot of like health coaches and personal trainers and people who do this like life coaching thing, it's always like, oh, get outside your comfort zone. And there's a place for that. But here in my house, it's all about the comfort. So I was really looking forward to, listen to this, I had to actually, I went on Google and you can find a place where they tell you how to pronounce things. Hugue. Hugue. Let's listen to it again, because it's hysterical. Hugue. Hugue. Okay, so I thought that was funny and I played it over and over and my voice thought it was very funny. So we're gonna smell these scents together for the first time. I'm gonna read the descriptions as I'm smelling. I'm gonna blow through this real fast. This comes in a very cute, lavender velour stocking okay i actually have my christmas st smells so good my christmas stocking for christmas is purple <laughs> so this is definitely going up on my um on my wall we don't have a mantle so there's five cents here and you can buy this as a gift and you can just write right on here to and from Okay, or you can break it up and keep one for yourself and give the other four away or whatever you want to do. You can give two, whatever. Um, you can buy them one at a time. You can buy a set of five of all of the same scent. You can break it up however you want. This is the way I wanted to do it. This set costs $24 and it's five bars of wax. So right then and there, you're getting a little bit of a savings because usually each bar of wax is $6, okay? Let's start with Calming Woods, just because it's the first one I picked up. Now, all of these bars have very interesting stickers on the front, usually during these uh, specialized collections, they have a theme that goes along with it. And it's kind of like quilting. See that? So Calming Woods is described as vanilla bean, creamy sandalwood, and rich cedar wood. Sage colored wax, but it doesn't have sage on the in the description. Ooh. That smells like a really hot guy. So there, I don't smell a lot of vanilla. Let me get on the underside of here. There's a little bit more vanilla on the underside, which means that vanilla is probably going to be one of the last scents or notes that you smell once the, you know, the wax is almost ready to be changed out and replaced. This is, ooh. I almost hit myself in the face. This is fabulous. It's very arbor. It's very tree. And it's got that little bit of vanilla in there to soften it up. Beautiful. Let me clear my, let me clear my throat. No. Kick it one time. Let's do quiet clementine. Real pretty. Quiet clementine is described as sweet orange, vanilla orchid, and sandalwood. This is like three of my favorite scents ever. Ooh, this reminds me a little bit of citrine. 
from the Crystal Collection. The underside smells a lot like orange dreamsicle. The vanilla is on the underside, again, just like it was with Calming Woods, and the sandalwood is subtle to me. This, uh, no, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it is a clementine, not an orange. Uh, it says sweet orange, but it smells more like a clementine or a cutie or a mandarin. And it smells a little bit like an orange dreamsicle, orange creamsicle. Since he has a scent called Orange Dreamsicle, it smells a little bit like that, but that little bit of sandalwood that isn't very distinct is actually making it a little bit more of a mature scent. I like that. That's gonna be perfect in a kitchen and a bathroom. Woolly Slippers. Sugared Vanilla, Marshmallow Accord, and Vanilla. No, sorry, Sugared Lavender. Marshmallow Accord and Vanilla. I was watching John Sparks's Sparks's. John Sparks is a friend of mine, and we're actually on the, in the same group in Sensi. And um, I was watching his review at three o'clock in the morning because there, was, there were idiots outside my window smoking herb. Yes, it was very annoying. So I got up and I was watching YouTube. <laughs> and I was watching YouTube uh, content creators talking about Sensi scent <laughs> instead of smelling the skunk smoke that was coming into my house. Anyway, this is light as far as I can smell so far. It's cold here today and this was just delivered and I can go ahead and crack open this bar because it's for me and just like John said it's an opaque wax. It reminds me of Lux Vanilla from Scentsy from a million years ago. It's it's pale but I'm not gonna say I don't I don't like it. I just think that it's um it's a little bit mild. And that's okay. That that has its place for sure. I can't get it all back in there, so I guess I'm gonna be warming that today. <laughs> it smells very warm, by the way. The lavender is very subtle. I don't smell any of the lavender in there. It's vanilla and um marshmallow. That's all I smell in the woolly slippers. Let's talk about toasty cabin. I love this color of wax. This is the same color kind of as blue Christmas, which is I have had to stop myself from warming blue, blue Christmas because now that I have a brick of it, <laughs> I'm so happy. Toasty Cabin, bergamot zest, black pepper, wild fern, and acacia wood. I have a feeling this is going to be my favorite because I like that manly stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's in that same uh, family as Mystery Man and My Dear Watson. Maybe even a little bit of Twilight. It's soapy. It's clean. It's not as woodsy as you would think. That black pepper and the bergamot zest, that's fabulous. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, it's a green note, but it's not overly like, you know, fresh cut grass kind of a thing. Yeah, one more. Cozy Kitchen. This is going to be my least favorite, I can tell you right now. <laughs> I am one of those strange people who don't like any of the gourmand scents, like overly. I don't dislike any of them. Like I don't hate any. But if you ask me what I want to warm in my house in order to fragrance my rooms, it's very rarely going to be something that smells down and out like food. Cozy Kitchen is described as warm oats, cinnamon swirl, and brown sugar. See, like right there. It smells like oats and honey. Ambulance. At least it's not me. This smells a lot like um, an oatmeal cookie, but not, not, not really a bakery. It just smells like, it smells like granola. Uh, if, you have, if you've ever made granola, like on a cookie sheet, you know, that's what this smells like. So it's not truly like a bakery note. It's not like a cake or a cookie, but it's like the crumble that's on top. That's nice. I mean, I would only warm this in my kitchen. I wouldn't warm it anywhere else because I don't want my bedroom to smell like food and I don't want my living room to smell like food and I don't want my bathroom to smell like food. So I'm gonna warm this in my kitchen and it's fine. It's fine. This goes to Toasty Cabin though. I like Toasty Cabin and I like Calming Woods. These are my two favorites. If you would like this package with the stocking, it's only $24 on my website, metallicamom.sensi.us. 
it's better if you message me your order. I can go ahead and invoice you. I can make sure that the order is placed correctly. I can make sure that you've paid the least amount of money. I can tell you what might go along with it. If you're like, well, maybe I want like one or two more bars to mix with some. Oh, you know what? That's another thing John Sparks said about the um, Willie slippers. He said it's going to be a good mixer. And yes, he's absolutely right. This will be nice mixed with stuff. In fact, you can mix it with that cozy kitchen and it would be lovely. Okay, so do me a favor and message me your order. Try, I mean, you can go on my website and place it yourself. I have a lot of faith in you. But a lot of times people can't see where the deals are, where the bundle and save section is and stuff like that. So you're always welcome to message me. This way I can make sure that you're, it's exactly what you want, okay? My name is Andrea and I'm an independent star director. Oh my God. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.